CNN's Jake Tapper interviews an IDF spokesman to the Prime Minister, and he's going to notice what we've been noticed, that the IDF and Israel are the biggest liars on the planet. Listen to this interview. First of all, I, I extend my sorrow to him and my sympathies. But if I saw your seeing that the IDF really has done everything, that is humanly possible to try to safeguard innocent civilians. It's very hard to believe that, especially on a day when one of our producers lost nine members of his family, nine members of his family who are not members of Hamas, not members of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, not members of any group, just nine people just trying to live their lives. First of all, I Now, Jake Tapper has been pro-Israeli. All the Western media has been pro-Israel and buying all the stupid lies they say. Oh, see? Oops, we were trying to go for a mosque. Oops, that, that refugee camp. Oops, that hospital. Oops, that apartment building. Oops, thousands of buildings and houses. Oopsie, I was trying to go for a mosque. Now that BS lie that, oh, see, Hamas uses them as human shields. Well, how? Where's your evidence of that, pro-Israelis? Where's your evidence that? What are you? What, what you're talk, saying that uh, somebody from Hamas come out with the with the sign saying I'm Hamas, wave a flag, and then run inside a building and then you blow it up? Is that what y'all saying, human shields? Is that what y'all claiming? And that every single target, six thousand bombs in one week 2,000 pound bombs that carpet bomb entire communities wipe out every man woman and child hospitals um, schools refugee camps you name it they hit it even bakeries all civilian targets hit United Nations told Israel they knew what they were going to do they knew what they were plotting when Israel said people leave northern Gaza, the United Nations issued a warning. It said Israel, just because you told the people to leave don't mean they have to. And that does not give you the right to kill innocent civilians. And he knew what the excuse was going to be. Ah, see, you know what? We told them to leave. See, see. And Jake Tapper, look at his face when dude is going to say this. So now let's listen to the rest of this dude's horrible excuse. Now Jake Tapper is like, because we've been watching little children get... I, I extend my sorrow to him and, and my sympathies. But if I saw your report correctly, and, and please correct me if I say something wrong, that happened in northern Gaza, uh, in Gaza City, where a month ago we already asked all the civilians to leave. And most of them did. If there was like 1,200,000 people there, there was only a, a couple of tens of thousands left. And one has to ask, yes, they had an ample opportunity to leave. I'm, I'm, I don't know what happened. I don't have the specific circumstances. I know there's deadly comp. There was only tens of thousands left. And you know this. Oops, let's just double bomb on them because we got an excuse. So now, if the terrorists you claim are in tunnels underneath the ground, what does leveling buildings do? Nothing. If, 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 if underneath the tunnels are not untouched, are still untouched, why ain't y'all going? Y'all ain't showed a single footage of y'all going inside the tunnels yet. That going on now in the north, still between these IDF and, 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 and Hamas terrorists, yes? And we don't want to see anyone caught up in the crossfire, but why didn't they heed the advice and oh, leave the blame. area? You, where they you had, can't blame them. There's now I fighting, don't blame them. But you can't. There's fighting in the south now. You know, where, where are, I mean, I've been asking this since October 7th. Where are these people supposed to go? He didn't have an answer for them. Oh, where are they supposed to go? You're already bombing the south like crazy. Boom, 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 boom. These people don't have cars. They don't have fuel. They don't have water. They don't have food. That is the definition of genocide. You are, that's the attempted homicide of 2.3 million people. So now that idea, that uh, Gaza, that CNN reporter for weeks, CNN pr producer, this is him right here that lost nine family members. For weeks, CNN producer, Abram Daham, reporter from Gaza and Israel, airstrikes brought devastation and despair to be besieged uh, strip in the wake of the uh, Hamas terror attack of October 7th. It's going to go on to say Dom, um, him, he's 36, escaped to Egypt with his young family 
after nearly a month. But on Sunday, and he, he documented this, he documented that hard task. Uh, but on Sunday, he heard the news that at least nine relatives trapped in northern Gaza had been killed in a strike on his aunt's house. Understand this. If they ask your grandmother to move from, let's say, the south side of Chicago, north side of Chicago, and to walk to the southern part of Illinois, you know how hard of a feat, how impossible? My grandmother would be like, ain't no way. And half the, a lot of those people were injured because they've been bomb, 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 bomb. Can't leave. Don't have the means to leave. It's going to say after nearly a month. But on Sunday, he heard the news at least nine was trapped in northern Gaza that had been killed in the airstrike in his mom's house. His childhood home in Gaza City was obliterated in separate strikes on the adjacent building on the same day. What happened to those people saying, Ah, see, they're just going for Hamas. And ah, see, Hamas is using them as human shields. That's one of the dumbest statements I've ever heard, by the way. How they use them as human shields? For one, they live in Palestine. They live in God. So you're just going to say, that's like me saying, Oh, you know what? I'm looking for somebody that lives on the north side. So I'm just carpet bomb the entire north side, murder every man, women, children, and say, See? He's using them as him and shield. For, you, for anybody to believe that. All right, let's look up the definition of a terrorist. Criminal acts included against civilians sounds a lot like Israel. Because before October 7th, look up uh, uh, the march on uh, uh, 2018. They murdered uh, over 240 protesters for walking and protesting. Just for sniping them, for fun. That's just a drop in the bucket. Palestine lives on October 7th every day. Criminal acts, including against civilians, committed with the intent to call death or seriously bodily injury. So since we're calling Hamas terrorists, we can easily put on Israel with that list. Injury or taking of hostages, which Israel is doing as we speak in the West Bank alone. Over 3,000 hostages have been taken, charged with no crime. No crime, just take it. With the purpose to provoke the state of terror or general public on a group or person, a particular person's intimidated population. Capella government or an international Sounds a whole lot like Israel. So since we're tossing out the word terrorist, please, please add Israel to that list. Poor guy. So now, Jake Tapper. Welcome to the party, pal. You know what we know. And so now, when you see this indiscriminate bombing, ask yourself, how do they know? Who are they going after? They ain't show the shred of proof of who they're going after. They can't show you nothing. See, they're going terrorists running into that hospital. They're going terrorists running into that school. Nothing. They just bombed the school. On the West Bank, they're bulldozing schools. They're bulldozing the houses. They're just taking the homes and, and making them settlements and keeping them and murdering those people too. That's a whole nother story. Anyway... I wanted to bring you guys this is absolutely ridiculous. Peace, y'all. Pussy on fire. Ooh, down to the wire. Smile life in the shy. Ooh, smile life in the shy.